How many groups of four are in 20? What do we need to do to answer this question? Well, we can count up in steps of four until we get to 20. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20. So what we've done here is divide 20 by four and we've made five groups, so our answer is five. Now we have what is a quarter of 36. So when you have a one and then a line and then a four, you have a quarter, or in America they call it a fourth, which makes sense. But in the UK we call it a quarter. And just as finding half is the same as dividing by two, finding a third is the same as dividing by three, finding a quarter is the same as dividing by four. So we can count up in steps of four until we get to 36. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36. So we have 36 divided by 4, and we've made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 groups. So our answer is 9. Or if we divide 36 into 4 groups, then we'll have 9 in each group. Now sticking with a quarter of 36, we could have found a quarter of 36 by sharing between four. So if we count out 36, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, and 36. So we have nine in each circle, so a quarter of 36, or 36 divided by four, is nine. Now pause the video and see if you can answer what is a quarter of 28. So here we have a quarter with the four written underneath the one. So like with half, sometimes the four would be next to the one and sometimes it's written underneath. But either way, one quarter means the same as dividing by four. So, we can count up in steps of four until we get to 28. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. So we have 28 divided by four, which is the same as finding a quarter of 28. So we have seven groups of four. So 28 divided by four is seven. Or if we divide 28 into four groups, we have seven in each group. Again, we could have found a quarter of 28 by sharing 28 between four. So we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 12, 16, 20, 
24 and 28. So we have 7 in each circle, so 28 divided by 4 is 7.